Hello and welcome to the session. Let us understand the following problem today. Let a is equal to minus 1, 0, 1, 2, b is equal to minus 4, minus 2, 0, 2 and f, comma g such that from a to b, the function is defined by fx is equal to x square minus x, x belongs to a and g of x is equal to 2 into more of x minus 1 by 2 minus 1, x belongs to a, are f and g equal, justify your answer. We know that. Two functions f and g are equal when f from a to b and g from a to b are such that f of a is equal to g of a for all a belongs to a. Let a is equal to minus 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 2 and b is equal to minus 4 comma minus 2 comma 0 comma 2. Every a function from a to b and g be a function from a to b defined by fh is equal to x square minus x and g of x is equal to 2 into mod of x minus half minus 1 for all x belongs to a. Now we check whether f of a is equal to g of a for all x belongs to a. At x is equal to minus 1, fx is equal to minus 1 the whole square plus minus minus 1 which is equal to 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2. g of x is equal to 2 into mod of minus 1 minus half minus 1 which is equal to 2 into mod of minus 3 by 2 minus 1 which is equal to 2 into 3 by 2 minus 1 which is equal to 3 minus 1 which is equal to 2. Therefore, g of minus 1 is equal to f of minus 1. Now, At x is equal to 0, f of 0 is equal to 0 square minus 0 which is equal to 0 and g of 0 is equal to 2 into mod of 0 minus half minus 1 which is equal to 2 into mod of minus half minus 1 which is equal to 2 into half minus 1 which is equal to 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0. Therefore, f of 0 is equal to g of 0. Now, at x is equal to 1, f of 1 is equal to 1 square minus 1 which is equal to 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0 and g of 1 is equal to 2 into 1 minus half minus 1 which is equal to 2 into mod of half minus 1 which is equal to 1 minus 1 which is equal to 0. Therefore, f of 1 is also equal to g of 1. Now, at x is equal to 2, f of 2 is equal to 2 square minus 2 which is equal to 4 minus 2 which is equal to 2. And g of 2 is equal to 2 into mod of 2 minus half minus 1 which is equal to 2 into mod of 3 by 2 minus 1, which is equal to 3 minus 1, which is equal to 2. Therefore, f of 2 is also equal to g of 2. Thus, 
for all a belongs to a, f of a is equal to g of a, which implies f and g are equal functions. Therefore, the required answer is yes. I hope you understood the problem by and have a nice day.